after showcasing Road to Vostok, a single player Tarkov Stalker mix I found when searching for PvE Tarkov alternatives, I also came across Incursion Red River, a PvE focused extraction shooter taking place in a destabilized modern day Vietnam. <laughs> made by Games of Tomorrow, which released into early access on April 10th, 2024. Does Incursion Red River scratch that single-player extraction shooter itch the right way, or does it fall short of its promise? Let's find out. Just like other extraction shooters, the general gameplay loop consists of you diving into different, somewhat open maps to collect new loot, weapons, gear and other items. Incursion starts off in your hideout, where you are able to store your loot, deal with traders, accept missions and challenges and interact with the faction system. It's also from here where you head into the open world sections of the game. Currently, there is only one map available in early access however. Right now, missions differ and range from sabotage to secure and place type contracts in a giving you, combined with its challenges like killing a certain number of enemies with a headshot, a rough objective when diving into the action, as you would otherwise just wander around aimlessly. Vincent, I'm on the intercom. One of the contracts, for instance, includes setting up jammers. These are placed in a box right at your spawn point and need to be collected. Please don't make the same mistake as I did when loading the map. I didn't equip any backpack. The jammers, however, can only be put into said backpack. So I had to go back to my hideout, equip that and load back into the map. Going back to the aforementioned faction system real quick. This is still pretty bare bones as well. There are three factions, the VLF, UICS and the IGC. You can earn reputation by completing the respective missions for the factions and unlock new gear to purchase at the trader. But there is nothing more about it right now. Once travel to the selected level, we can admire the beautifully designed environments. While carefully roaming around, loot can be found not only by killing the enemy, but also in different containers. Movement options include what you'd expect from a shooter like crouching, peek around corners and there's even a dedicated sneak button, which lets you move slower to creep up to enemies, which is even possible while standing. Drone, however, is not possible right now. There are also some weird design choices regarding movement in my opinion. The inability to climb ladders for instance or being unable to vault makes the game feel very clunky and unintuitive at times. I was even trapped in a hole during one run, so being a fully armed elite soldier but incompetent to climb some small rocks to escape my self-inflicted prison. You can reset your spawn from the menu however, so you're not completely lost. Given the fact that it's in early access, even in early alpha I would say, because it's stated by the game itself in the right hand corner, I can only assume that this is stuff that's gonna get fixed or implemented over time. I'm eager to know, what's your opinion so far? Do you think Incursion Red Rivers ever gonna release into full version 1.0? Or will it be abandoned along the way like many other EA titles? Let me know in the comments. Incursion also tries to breathe some form of realism into its weapon handling by, besides the normal reload, including the possibility to check for bullets remaining in your magazine by pressing and holding the reload button or a quick reload function by pressing R twice, which drops the current magazine which would otherwise been stored in your inventory. When infiltrating an enemy campsite, not only can you just burst doors open, it's also a viable option to peek into rooms without fully open the door, without attracting too much attention. Some doors are also locked, which is important to keep in mind, should the situation be getting heated and you're forced to retreat. When following your objective, it's necessary to locate the mission item on your tablet, or the GCPS the Global Combat Positioning System, which serves as your in-game map. I feel that it's a great game design decision to not include the map on your heart, but rather add that to your gear which you actually have to use. That just makes it feel more immersive in my opinion. Bro, what is wrong with you? My immersion! How about you immerse yourself in a shower, bro?
The level itself feels a bit empty so far. Enemies are pretty sparse. The developer actually addressed this in a hotfix already to increase enemy spawns and to add patrolling troops. So the player's feedback is already helping to improve incursion. As you gather new weapons and gear, also bear in mind your limited inventory space, as Incursion Red River follows a similar approach to inventory management like other extraction shooter. Once you've completed your mission, it's time to extract in one of the several extraction points on the map. Should you successfully escape, you can store your newfound loot in your home base and sell unwanted stuff to the trader. In case of dying too often, and if you're left without any gear, you can always spawn with a provided loader. There's a catch, however. You can't take any loot with you when extracting, but you're able to complete missions and get the rewards to fill up your stock again. Talking a little bit about the technical state of the game, for me it ran great overall. I had no crashes or major bugs or performance issues, besides the already mentioned incident where I got stuck inside the environment. I think weapon models and effects are looking great, and overall are giving you the immersion of really being in the middle of the jungle. We need jungle I'm afraid. As already said, the enemy's AI is kind of a hit and miss at this point. They seem to follow very strict states, where if they spotted you, they'd mow you down with laser accuracy. But being completely brainless up until this point. But enemy difficulty was enhanced already. The AI should detect the player much faster now as the radius for footstep detection for instance was increased. As I have expressed prior, the game is very early in development. I wonder if it hasn't been too soon for releasing it into early access, but people may have different point of views on what's appropriate for an early access and what's not. Though the price right now is also just about $16, so everyone should decide on their own if that's worth the money and if you'd want to support the developers on their vision of a PvE extraction shooter. If you're curious what's planned for the game, you're in luck, as there's a rough roadmap at least posted on its Steam page, which not only includes new content, such weapons, a new map, new contract types, but also a more in-depth health system, enhanced AI and much more. I hope I could give you a good overview of Incursion Red River to help on deciding if you wanna buy into the early access or you're gonna wait for more content. Mm -hmm.